it's time for more of my silly collection. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Sunday, I hope you've all had a great weekend. It is Sully Sunday and I am here with another instalment of my Sully collection. So if you haven't seen my Sully collection before, I will leave a card up above to the playlist, but I haven't done one in about two or three months, so I really needed to update you on my Sully collection. I do have some more plushes, I'm going to show you one in this video and then the next Sully Collection video will probably just be plushes. But today I'd like to focus on my Christmas ornaments and a very special ornament that I was given last year. So this plush was bought from my friend Lucy, Lucy's Room Toys on Instagram. She has an amazing Pixar collection and every single time she parts with something Sully she asks me if I would like it first which I really appreciate because I think it's really nice of someone to do that for another collector. So she sold me this Christmas Sully. He's got a jumper on that says Sully and it is red and white like Santa. If I just take the hood down so you can see his face. He's got a really grumpy looking face but he is a really really soft plush and I just absolutely love him. But like I said, I bought some more from Lucy and I've bought more from other people on Instagram who offer me their Sullys first. So if I do a Sully collection in January, it will just be plush and then I need to go back to showing you things like mugs, clothing, figures, things like that. So the first item I'm going to show you isn't actually one of my Christmas decorations. This was a Christmas present from my parents last year. So if you didn't see my what I got for Christmas video, I will leave a card up above because they got me a Sully Precious Moment. So these are really expensive. I think there was about three I wanted and they picked this one for me. So a little girl is leaning on Sully while she reads a bedtime story and it's called Snuggle Time and I just think it's absolutely adorable. It is so cute. And it's so special to me. I really cannot thank my parents enough for getting this for me. And then I've got an even 50-50 split of Primark Christmas decorations and Shop Disney Christmas decorations. So I've got two each. I'm going to start with Primark. The first one I'm going to show you I believe is last year's. It is Mike and Sully and Mike is the head of the snowman and Sully has a Santa hat on. They do hang but I haven't hung them before but I might now. They are just in a little plastic dome and I did have to get this one picked up because this one was hard to get last year. However, this year's, I found out it was available. I went to my local store, which is Merry Hill, pretty much as soon as I found out about it and they had it. So it's Sully in front of a Christmas tree holding a present above his head. I call this one bench press Sully for some reason because I don't know why you would hold a Christmas present above your head like it's the like boom box in Say Anything. It's very very strange. If you look at the back as well there's kind of like a blue ball connecting the present to the tree from Sully and I don't know why it's there. It's probably so that he sticks to the tree but it's really strange and I've already shown this to you I am aware in my Primark Disney Christmas haul so if you didn't see that I got a lot of Disney Christmas goodies from Primark so I will leave a card up above to that video but I love that I've got two years of Sully decorations and then on to Shop Disney this ornament if the little tag is anything to go by is from 2018 and it is Sully with a Santa hat on holding lights. So he's holding the lights up so they kind of go across his chest. He doesn't light up even though I have seen some that light up that are like this. He's stood on the Monsters Inc logo and I just absolutely love him. He does stay out all year round just because I don't want him to break or anything because I don't know whether this was Shop Disney or me but it is missing a bit of paint there so I would like to just keep an eye on it rather than leaving it in a box that could fall over or something while it's packed away. And then the final Christmas ornament I am going to show you. This one has been in my Shop Disney Christmas ornament haul as well so I will leave a card up above if you missed that. It is the Legacy ornament because Monsters Inc turned 20 years old this year 
Yes, I feel incredibly old that I was seven when my favourite Pixar film came out, but it is Sully holding Boo as a monster and Mike on a yellow door. It is a hanging one, so I am going to have to put some command hooks or something on my wall so that I can hang this up. The paintwork isn't too bad, but Sully appears to have a nostril missing, which is a bit strange but I will try and hang this up by my Sully collection so that it can be up all year round because it's clearly not Christmas but it is quite heavy so I'm not sure whether I'll be able to find a hook that it will actually stick to. But that was my Sully collection for this month. I understand that it is very quick but I didn't want to show you all the plushes because I wanted this to be very Christmas centric so I will show you the plushes I've bought recently very very soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for another one. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye!